Um, first one we're going to start with is just our squat pattern. So this is going to be an overhead PVC pipe squat. All right, so I'm going to have Gerald step up here and, and demonstrate with this. With our overhead squat, we're going to make sure that we're about shoulder width stance, all right, shoulder width grip. So he's going to go ahead and grab that. Our squat stance for him is going to be about shoulder width as well, athletic position. All right, what we're looking for here on this PVC pipe is we're going to be straight over the top of our head. All right, we're trying to be bone on bone. Basically, if you had a rod coming through, it would be going right through his spine and right down through nice and flat. I'll have him turn around to the side so we can see him a little bit better. All right, so nice flat back. All right, so what we're going to do to initiate the movement is we're going to take an inhale. We're going to brace our abs. All right, we're going to hinge at the hips, so we're going to squat, bend back. All right, trying to keep those knees parallel. Gerald's going to squat down, drop into the bottom, and come right back up, okay? Now, as we're doing this, we're looking for him to keep a positive shin angle, all right? We don't want to be moving our knees too far forward or too far backwards, all right? We're also looking for him not to be breaking down at the waist and falling forward, okay? That's going to be one of our faults, so we're going to try to correct that. Most of the time, if our guys are going to be falling forward, it's because they're going to have tight ankles, all right? They might have tight hips, so those are things that we'll address earlier in the workout or later in the workout, all right? But Gerald's just going to demonstrate five good reps for us. One, Gerald's pretty good at this. Two, smooth exhale when you're coming up out of the bottom. Three, good. Four, and five, good. All right, relax. Let's watch Chris get, a, get five of these, see if there's any differences. See if this looks any better. And again, as we're doing this, all right, we're really looking for this bar not to travel forward when he squats down or travel way back behind over his head, but staying right over the top here where he's nice and solid, keeping his shoulders tighter. Right, let's go five more good reps. Good one. Two, let's get a little bit deeper here. Three, smoother down. Four, good. And five, good, great. All right, so that's going to be our PVC pipe overhead squat, okay? Once we become proficient at that exercise, we're going to work on to our next exercise, all right, which is going to be called the brace squat. For a brace squat, we're going to use a medicine ball. Gerald, do you want to grab a ball for me? All right. The reason we call the brace squat, okay, so when we're teaching all this ground-based exercises, all these squat exercises, we want to teach our guys to actually stay tight, okay? By taking our load and putting it way out in front, our guys actually have to stay tight and they have to brace their abs, okay, activating their abs, right? It's one of the hardest things that we have with our guys when we're trying to teach them these ground-based exercises is trying to stabilize, okay? So this is one of the exercises that I use, all right? Not very complicated, all right? Not super super tough or challenging, all right? But it reinforces some of the mechanics that we want, okay? So Gerald's going to take that ball and he's holding it straight out in front of it about eye level, okay? Now, he's going to get nice and tall, nice neutral spine. He's going to squeeze his abs, okay? Just holding the ball out here, he has to brace here to stabilize this thing, okay? As he descends into the bottom like we did on all our other squat exercises, right? He's going to keep that ball straight up in front. He's going to stay tight, coming right back up. We're going to go 10 of those, all right? Gerald, you count them while I'm talking here. All right, so straight arms. Now, same thing here. We're looking for a nice slow descent to the bottom. All right, knees are fairly straight up and down. All right, we don't want our knees shooting way out over our toes. All right, that ball is staying right out in front. Make sure he's breathing. Periodically, I like to come through and check and make sure that they're staying tight and bracing those abs nice and tight, okay? That looks good.